Now moving on to the second bit of fifth problem. He has asked us to prove that cos a by one plus sin a plus one plus sin a by cos a is equal to two times secant a. So let us consider the left hand side of given equation that will be cos a by one plus sin a plus one plus sin a by cos a and now let us simplify this which is equal to let us take LCM as one plus sin a into cos a then the numerator becomes cos a into cos a is nothing but cos square a plus 1 plus sin a into 1 plus sin a is nothing but 1 plus sin a whole square that will be equal to cos square a plus this is in the form of a plus b whole square which is nothing but a square that is 1 square is 1 plus 2 ab that is 2 times 1 times sin a which is nothing but 2 sin a plus sin a whole square that is sin square a whole divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a that will be equal to let us write together the terms sin square a and cos square a plus 1 plus 2 sin a whole divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a. Now we have an identity that sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. Let us substitute that. Then it becomes 1 plus 1 plus 2 sin a by 1 plus sin a into cos a which is equal to 2 plus 2 sin a divided by 1 plus sin a into cos a which is equal to let us take 2 common in the numerator then we get 1 plus sin a by 1 plus sin a into cos a in the numerator and denominator 1 plus sin a is common and that gets cancelled finally we are left with 2 times 1 by cos a which is equal to 2 times we know that 1 by cos a is nothing but secant a here finally we got 2 times secant a as answer then which is nothing but our right hand side so here LHS is equal to RHS and hence we proved the given relation between the trigonometric ratios.